First Alert Weather with Brian Allworth is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. A good Tuesday morning, shaping up to be another nice July day. This is typically a really hot and humid time of year. Not so bad today. In fact, this morning, once again, unusually cool. We are warming up fairly quickly. In fact, a little more quickly than yesterday. And that means that today will likely end up a little bit hotter than yesterday. But still, for this time of year, can't complain. Uh, let's see, dew point only 61, 64 degrees, mainly clear right now at the Cape Toro Airport. So yeah, again this morning about 10 degrees below average, but this is likely to be the last cool morning for a while as we get into a much more humid muggy pattern starting in about 24 hours. So what's going to happen is high pressure pushes away to the east. By the way, still rain in New northern New England, big storms moving out of Oklahoma down into eastern Texas this morning. But this is along a warm front that's heading in our direction. It'll move in tomorrow morning and uh, you'll notice right away the humidity surging tomorrow. For today, then mostly sunny, a few puffy clouds, highs about 90, 91, 92 degrees, but not terribly humid yet. Tonight, not quite as cool, lows about 65 to 70. And then, yeah, here's uh, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> what do you notice right away? Those thunderstorm symbols. Now, again, this doesn't mean it's going to rain all the time everywhere, but each day we'll have at least a chance of thunderstorms scattered about. Some areas could get a severe storm and heavy downpours like over the weekend, but just like over the weekend, some areas will likely get no rain at all. That's the nature of weather this time of year. Look at the lows though, 75 for a low on Thursday morning. Yeah, even through the weekend, a fairly active period with a chance of showers and storms. It'll be warm, very humid, but not super hot with highs in the low 90s and maybe drying out a little bit as we get into next week. As I mentioned before, though, at least for tomorrow and Thursday, a small chance of severe storms.